from someone like me who has worked six days out of seven days in a week who is a pro procrastinator and when i tell you i know how to procrastinate i'm not proud of it i am so happy that with my research i can relate to you and today i'm going to be telling you tips to help you grow your hair if you are very very busy and you have a very busy schedule or you are a pro procrastinator like me and you are very lazy what's up on video gang it's divine and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi welcome to the gang we are happy to welcome you here if you are a very busy person or you are a very lazy person or you are both of them you are lazy and busy at the same time like me you don't have time you don't have motivation if you don't have money to grow your hair or buy hair products i already talked about the tools you need to get in these two videos to save your money and help you still grow your hair even though you don't have money the two concept of time and motivation are connected with the concept of self-discipline i am not a motivational speaker because i myself i am very lazy a wise lad once said nobody can discipline you than yourself and that wise lad is me nobody can force you to do something than yourself you can force a horse to go to a stream but you can't force the horse to drink water if the horse doesn't want to drink water and you rule over yourself like god rules over you but he has given you the opportunity to have choice and that's the beauty of life you have choice over yourself regardless of how much time you don't have for yourself or how much you are very very unmotivated to do anything this video is going to help you because i'm going to mention it five tips even if you don't have time trust me i got you <laughs> so make sure you watch to the end of this video because i might save an extra tip at the end of the video triggers you might have heard the word trigger like pull the trigger a trigger is something that urges you something that makes you want to do something if you have battled with addiction before you will understand that triggers are things that make you fall into those sins or into those addictions now we're talking about time and self-discipline if you don't have time to make your hair you don't have time to style your hair you don't have time to do all the all the things that they say wash day is very long for like prepping your hair preparing your hair deep conditioning your hair combing and detangling your hair losing out your long braids that you had for three months you don't have time to do those things you have to find your trigger the easiest way to find your trigger is to have a reward or a consequence but i'm sound like a motivational speaker Oof you need to have a reward or a consequence a reward system having something to motivate you that oh after i'm done doing this strenuous activity i'm going to reward myself with something sweet or something nice the ecstasy of sweetness or relaxation but the consequence system which i love the most because i am very hard on myself like i am very hard on myself the consequence system is harder than the reward system consequence system is that if you don't do this thing something bad is going to happen to you since you don't want anything bad to happen to you you will have to do that thing to avoid that bad thing because you can avoid it yeah, yeah, this this is is so like if you don't comb your hair or you can go dry your hair your hair is going to break you don't prepare your hair or deep condition your hair before you dye your hair your hair is going to might get damaged you just have to give yourself that con consequence that if i don't do this i am out like, like if i don't do this i just have to do it if not I am going to face this consequence if not you will face the consequence obviously you have to prepare yourself not to face the consequence but if you have a reward system oh after i'm done making my hair i am going to watch a movie or while i'm making my hair i'm going to complete this episode of this movie like i do that a lot like doing something as you're doing that strenuous activity like when i'm washing my hair or styling my hair i could use that to film a video for instagram or youtube shorts you can see other youtubers try this out too i'm not just saying things i'm telling you things that work so next time you're lazy to do your hair or comb out your hair or whatever you want to do to your hair just use the reward system or the consequence system yeah. Like the plan that oh today I'm going to comb my head and all of a sudden you're like ah, I beg I beg I beg I'm not combing again I'll just pack it and tie a scarf and go out yeah 
I'm guilty and you are guilty too. What I want to explain to you is that this is Brian Tracy method, the ABCDE method, and most people, most rich people or billionaires that do motivational videos or productivity youtubers they are into to-do lists of course i have a bullet journal and i also use to-do lists because i get so 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 distracted easily i just talked about triggers and finding what can push you to do something when it comes to writing your to-do list you need to write down specific things you want to do so like now your wash day wash day they say is always long you can make it shorter for example there's something i do if i don't have time to start combing on my hair for long i'll just lose down previous hairstyle i had divide my hair into eight sections the next is wash my hair and condition my hair those eight sections i'm not taking those eight sections down i'm just washing and conditioning on them once i'm done doing that i would then deep condition which is i don't do condition every wash day i might even skip deep conditioning so we have section wash and condition as one step moisturize and protective style and that's all for wash day like for a regular wash day that is tedious and very very long i will have to pre -pull, i will have to detangle then i will now have to wash then condition then deep condition then i will now make a protective style you see i just broke down this whole tedious process into just simple routines when you have time make time to care for your hair when you don't have time don't procrastinate kill two birds with one stone that's what you should aim to do in your to-do list make sure you section it out that it is not tedious you are not writing 10 things to do you are writing five things to do two two actions in one point and once you are done with those five things guess what you have a reward waiting for you and you're not going to face any horrific consequence so if you made it to this part of the video, I'm so 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 grateful for you being here and hanging out with me and also learning how to maximize time and motivation because it's very very hard to get motivation these days. Share when you have a lot to do and you don't even know where to start from. We are here. Last week, what did we comment last week? I told you guys comment chicken feet and comment if you are lazy or you are busy. Confuse people in the comment section today. Comment, comment your name and put discipline yourself so for example my name is divine so if i were to comment i will comment divine discipline yourself with an exclamation mark so comment your name and keep comma discipline yourself with an exclamation mark a very big one or plenty exclamation marks so if you made it to this tip which is actually one of the most, if not the most important tip in I'll be sharing. And if you just graduated for university or you are in university, secondary school, high school, whatever institution, if you are in school, this tip is also going to help you with being busy and being lazy. As a natural, if your hair is natural, even if your hair is not natural, the flow state talks about when you are blocked out all kinds of distractions lazy person who is unmotivated then the busy person you have prioritized a particular time to do something the truth is that we always enter the flow states but we always get distracted like now you could be reading but you're like let me just you check my phone and you leave the flow state and spend two hours on instagram in order to stay in the flow state we have to go back to number one point i said your triggers keep reminding yourself of the consequences and the reward and once you enter the flow state, you don't. You, I am that kind of person. And once I enter that flow state, even if I am very hungry, I will not eat until I have achieved what I want to achieve. People also call the flow state time blocking. The reason why it's called time blocking is that you are blocking out distractions. So you are time blocking and you are holding on to this particular time that I must achieve this. The truth is that you don't have to spend two hours in the flow state, one hour, six hours in the flow state. Your flow state might just be five minutes. In five minutes, I will achieve this. In three minutes, I must like I time myself when I'm in a hurry to wash my hair. In ten minutes, in fifteen minutes, I must be done. I know the time. Spend ten minutes to have my bath. I spend fifteen minutes to dress up. So when you time block, you don't want to pass through that time because you have other things to do because you are busy and two, you are lazy. Are you moving? So you have to do it fast so that you can come back to your enjoyment. Like you have to maximize when you are focused. 
I'm going to be fast as possible to share these simple tips that will help you to enter the flow state and stay there for some time. First thing is always motivate yourself by preparing yourself ahead. We're talking about natural hair. If you want to wash your hair before wash, then make sure you prepared your products down, you prepared your tools down, you have your mirror set there, you have everything right so that once you are ready to use them, you don't have to start searching for, you don't have to start looking for them. You have them already prepared. In short, it is even better off you have it planned that oh this is the day of the week i'm going to lose my hair so you have dedicated that time already it is not when you want to do it you just procrastinate oh i'll do it tomorrow but if you blocked it out it is an appointment and you have to stick to your appointment remember nobody can force you to do anything but yourself so you have to force yourself you're fine i'm going to do this thing like i if i don't do it, this do or die affair do or die talk to yourself Please make sure you like this video physically and not just emotionally, not just your heart. Like it with your tongue. Four has to be the most crafty and creative hack. This hack is going to help you in any of your hair care routines. Be lazy. Because the truth about hair growth is that you don't even have to do anything. God is the one that is helping your hair grow. Like, you cannot make a cell in your body system. It's God that helps it. You can only do other things that will help it function well. But it's God that will make that thing grow. So you have to be lazy, like lazy in the right way. You are using all your effort as work or whatever you are, you are spending your time for. You are not putting under effort and strength on your hair. And it's not showing any results. Diligence with your laziness. That sounds weird. In order to be a good lazy person, <laughs> in order to be effectively lazy, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> so in order to be lazy rightly, you have to know the right lazy hairstyles to do. You are on wash day. What hairstyle do you make in here you wash your hair? Is it a wash and go? Funky twist? Mini twist? What signature hairstyle do you do once you have your wash day? That will save you time. Lazy natural hairstyles you can try. If you are not in for those lazy natural hairstyles, you can just do any of them, then wear your wig on top of them. Save the time for next week if you want to make your hair next week and allow your scalp to rest. The mathematics is simple. It's mathematics thing. Yeah, when anybody tells you that your hair is beautiful, you have to know that your hair is beautiful. Lazy hair care hacks you can do. I don't know about you, but one thing for sure for me is that I carry my hair styles for at least two weeks to eight weeks, if not sometimes three months. I can carry a hairstyle depending on the hairstyle and how my hair is going to breathe under that hairstyle. Let be poor, breathe. If you don't know yourself and if you don't know your hair, if you don't love yourself, your hair is going to be abandoned and you are going to leave it there for five months, six months without doing anything to it, without moisturizing, without giving it the care and time that it needs. And you know you are cheating yourself by yourself. Nobody needs to tell you that what you are doing is wrong. Like, you know what you are doing is wrong by yourself. That's why I have my hair growth challenge. And I told you guys to join. If you haven't already, make sure you hop on this hair growth challenge. First off for next month is going to be braided buns of different sorts. As I have the hair growth challenge, so I know for this month, this is the hairstyle I'm carrying. So if I'm going to do anything in between, it's going to be outside of when I take down the hairstyle or when I've not yet made the hairstyle. So I know this is the only time I'm dedicating to hair. Like I know what I want to do with my hair for next week. Even if I'm not making my hair this week, I know what, what's up next. Try a lazy hair regimen. There was something I saw on one of my friends' status that you should write 300 things that you want God to do for you. You have it. You know you want long hair. You know you want your hair to appear thicker. It has to grow past your neck, past your shoulder, past your eye, past your nose. You know you want your hair to like all those hair influencers that you have seen all over your Instagram page. You know you want all those things. But don't forget. Don't forget, my brother. Don't forget, sis. Those people are doing and caring for their hair every day or at least every week because it is their job. They get paid to care for their hair. You are not getting paid to care for your hair. You are just you. And if you don't love your hair and love yourself and make time for your own self, you have these goals, you have these hair goals. If you don't take action to them, nobody's going to do it for you because it is your own hair. And I'm always telling my sister jokingly that if you don't have time for your hair, then have money. If you don't have strength to comb your hair or make your hair or loosen out your hair, go to a good hairstylist and spend your money on the hairstylist. So you are going to be your own motivational pusher. The person that will look at your goal and say, wow, this is my vision. How many months do I have left? Only you that can be your own driver. Like that's the sole purpose of this video. 
you are the person who can push yourself by yourself like god is there to help you but if you are not ready to help yourself the help is not gonna come just in case you are that person who sometimes falls into procrastination even though you are still hard on yourself and you keep pushing but sometimes you still procrastinate don't be too hard on yourself we're all in this laziness together and i believe in you that you can do this yes if nobody believes in you i believe in you you are still watching this is the last tip but yeah i saved it for last because it is very important and i learned a lot from doing that's why i've have, I have even procrastinated uploading on thursday and i kept it for tomorrow tip is the audit challenge i want you to bring out your jota i want you to write out the hours and the timestamps till 12 pm 12 a.m 1 a.m Twelve PM. So this is called the twenty-four hour time audit challenge. I learned it from watching one of YouTubers I watch YouTube advice, Sean Connell, and he was talking about just auditing your time and checking out a whole day. I'm going to sleep by around 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock but now that I'm editing this video I don't even know when I'm going to sleep most likely you will sleep from 11, 11 p.m. the previous day and you will wake up you still be asleep by 12 p.m. or 2 p.m. if you are not like my sister that doesn't sleep in the night but let, let's say you are asleep by that time but if you are not asleep by that time write it down watch Kingland episode from 2 p.m. So 6 a.m. in the night. Just for one day, 24 hour challenge. Do it tomorrow. Plan it. Just audit your time. Keep writing. Just audit your time. Oh, from this hour to this hour, I went to the kitchen. From this hour to this hour, I had my bath prepped and dressed up. From this hour to this hour, I was on YouTube. Oh, I went to school. From this hour to this hour, I was in the public transport. From this hour to this hour, the whole time. And you see the time lapse of how you spend your time. You actually realize that you have time you're actually not that busy you don't know how to prioritize the time that you have that's just the problem so yeah the last tip is prioritizing it is a very important skill i want you to research more about prioritizing because everybody's life is different everybody's lifestyle is different according to your lifestyle find how to prioritize as an adult growing youthful adults i have learned that you are going to make decisions by yourself. Nobody's going to force you to do anything. Unlike when you are a child and everybody's making decisions for you. Wake up in the morning, your parents wake you up to dress up. Your parents, your parents have picked out your outfits. Like, now you have to do all those things by yourself, for yourself nobody's going to tell you to do those things my dear you have to learn how to prioritize don't lose sight of the vision you have or the goals you have because once you do then you don't have anywhere you are going to do i hope that you are following me on instagram on youtube i hope you are following me on tiktok on poco day 6215 yeah a big shout out to you thank you for commenting first on my video and thank you guys for your comments on chicken feet yeah you don't like chicken feet you're a hater in my last video the average person watched six minutes wow thank you guys for your love and support please don't forget to comment divine you must be disciplined